Yo, 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 let's talk about the meaning of life. So I'm seeing a lot of videos about the meaning of life and I'm thinking, come on, that's not the meaning of life. So I wanted to make a quick clarification video just to sort of, you know, point out the obvious. What's the meaning of life? Let's get it, let's get it done right now. Now I understand why people might not be explaining it very clearly. I mean, this life thing is pretty weird. You know, it's any living thing you see is going to be this beautiful, disgusting, ugly, pristine organism, for lack of a better word. And it's kind of weird, you know, and no one gets out of this thing alive. Like, that's pretty weird. We all die. And I'm not even just trying to make some deep thing about how we all die. That's not really the point here. I mean, I'm not trying to take that fact that we all die and, like, extrapolate some well, this is how we should live our lives, you know, or the, or our awareness of our mortality should have this specific impact on us, you know. I'm just saying we all die because it is a fact of life. It's part of this whole deal. It's something you would definitely point out if you're talking about what life is. So life is this thing in between birth and death. And so death, you want to make sure you cover that. That's the thing where we all die. Birth, you know, we have to get born one way or another. You can't really just not get born. So you get born, you live, and then you die. So yeah, so the meaning of life is the thing in between birth and death. I mean, I know when people talk about the question, what's the meaning of life? They don't always mean that. Sometimes they mean like, what's the purpose of life? But I don't really like that. That's a weird and different question. And I think that's a very malnourished sort of like malformed question. What's the purpose of life? I don't know. What's the purpose of yellow? Like, who? Yeah, why, why is yellow? Like, I don't know. That's a weird question. Why are you asking me that? What's the purpose of life? I don't know, man. There's a lot of different lives that people live and non-people live. So I don't think it's really fair to try to come up with some general purpose of all the different lives. For anything you would try to come up with, there would be plenty of people who are just completely not living by that purpose. There would be plenty of organisms that it would be hard to say they live by that purpose. What's a general one? Okay, we could say flourishing. The meaning of life is flourishing or growth, you know, becoming. And it's like, cool, okay, but are you going to look at every single individual human, for instance, and say... Here's how they're flourishing and here's how they're blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You know, I am I just try to not wade into that water. Of what's the purpose of life? That seems to me a huge question and anyone who's trying to answer it probably has something to sell you. So that's not what the meaning of life is. So stop making videos or talking about the meaning of life if you're trying to say the purpose of life. That's a different thing, okay? This video is about the meaning of life. Meaning of life, the thing in between birth and death. So, you know, we established that life is a limited thing. It's limited in duration. It's obviously limited spatially and, and ways like that. There are natural limitations on life. Uh, there's a limitation of like identity, like the sort of limitation that when we talk about birth, life and death, we're talking about an identity. We're just by necessity talking about the identity of one thing to be born, to live and die. And so that brings in interesting questions about consciousness and how, how is that identity formed exactly? Is it biological? Is it uh, for humans like a psychological thing? But of course, for a, a life, when we talk about the meaning of a life, we're talking about that continuous thread, birth, life, and death. And that's held together in an identity of, of a, a, again, for lack of a better word, an organism. It's kind of a weird word, but creature. And I do think that some animals are conscious. I think it would be ridiculous to say that consciousness is this sort of uh, unique to humans thing. It's certainly not a binary thing. It's not like you're either unconscious or conscious. I mean, in the sense we use it in human life of someone going unconscious, sure. But even then, of course, there's gray area. And with animals, why wouldn't there be even more gray area? So, you know, animals have identities to some extent. And yeah, you just need, I just mean identity as like basically a receptacle, <laughs> the, the place that you can connect the birth and the life and the death too. And I know that's a probably 
even less clear way to put it. But I'm talking on such a general scale because what I really care to just say before I end this stupid short video is like, these are these natural limitations. You know, there are these natural limitations on life and there are a lot of artificial limitations that we put on life. And it doesn't always seem very clear to us when it's an artificial limitation and when it's a natural limitation. So obviously an artificial limitation could be like someone else's expectation of how we're supposed to act. Or, you know, uh, I don't know, the, the eight hour work day or something like that. Or like, you know, just, I don't want to give examples. <laughs> this is a million of them. Uh, any artificial limit, basically any limitation, you know, the idea that I have to live somewhere with Wi-Fi. you know what I mean? Like that's artificial. I could live somewhere without Wi-Fi. I'd be okay. Like, so, so I think when we're thinking about our life and we're thinking about what's the meaning of our life, let's try to be clear. We're not conflating it with the purpose of our life because that's a very difficult thing to try to assume like that in itself. And this is probably the point of the video. I didn't even think of it before I started, but like that in itself is a confusing artificial limitation that we put on our life. The fact that we think it's supposed to have one overall purpose. If you have a purpose to your life, fantastic. I like my work. I like my art. That's sort of my purpose. But like, not really. And it could change. Uh, but I don't care. You can have a life's purpose. But life itself doesn't have a purpose. I, I wouldn't think that's even something that needs to be said. But so maybe don't always think you have to put that limitation on yourself. And maybe when you're trying to find the meaning of your own life, what I would really say, and this is really, again, the point which I didn't think of before, is just go for understanding your life. Just like in this video, we just tried to understand the question. Just understand the thing before you even decide what your, pur what your purpose is and so on. So sometimes that takes a lot of self-reflection and like journaling and stuff. Yo, I got to get sponsored by all the best journal brands. What's that one that's like Shinola? Shinola, if you're watching this and want to sponsor me, I will talk about journals all the time. So, um, well, I, they should pay me for this. You do have to, okay, Shinola, if you start sponsoring me, you have to back pay me for this video. Uh, cool. And everybody who's watching, thanks for watching. You know, check out the other videos. I talk about a lot of other stuff, media, politics, some more philosophy stuff, therapy, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, have a really good rest of your day. Bye.